dear students in this video let us study about the design of small water harvesting structure in farm ponds a farm pond is a large uh, hole dug out in the earth usually square or rectangular in shape look at the screen the diagram shows the farm pond this farm pond harvests rainwater and stores it for future use it has an inlet to regulate inflow and an outlet to discharge excess water left side you can see the inlet the water enters into the pond and the excess water will move out from the outlet the pond is surrounded by a small bund which prevents erosion on the banks of the pond to avoid erosion the side bund is constructed on the banks of the pond the size and depth depend on the amount of land available as per our requirement and the land available we can design for the size and depth the type of the soil the farmers water requirements the cost of excavation and the possible use of the excavated earth water from the farm pond is conveyed to the fields ma manually by pumping or by both methods water will be used by pumping or sometime manually and sometime both the methods this water will be supplied to the fields agriculture fields this farm pond is very simple one and the stored water must be used for the irrigation this can be used for groundwater recharge also a farm pond must be located with farm drawing the maximum runoff passes in a given rainfall event the selection is very very important to locate to construct the farm pond where the water flow runoff water is more near by that we can construct this because the water should enter through inlet to the pond and we can store the water in the pond a percolation pond can be dug out in any area where the land is not used for agriculture purpose and the site selection the criteria for site selection is very very important you have to think economically choose an area where a limited amount of excavation will be required to uh, contain or hold back a large waste of water example a narrow valley where a dam 
can be constructed at a narrow pass is it's for example overland drainage this is surface runoff from precipitation melting snow or a spring flowing drainage area and annual precipitation rates will determine of the water will be adequate groundwater ponds which acquire water mostly from groundwater are often called water table ponds they are built by excavating below water table at the location So this is about the design. 